starting to look at some water samples. If you take a look out in the water, you can see it still has a little bit of a brown coloration to it, but our red tide species has kind of dissipated a little bit. So we're gonna still try to get a sample for our classes today. Um, and I'll take a, a jar here and show you what the water's looking like when we pull it up. It's a little murky, but nothing like it was a few um, days ago or a week or two ago. So we have here a plankton net that we've made and I've shown a few of the classes over Zoom this plankton that we made with some stockings, a film canister, a ring, and some string. Um, we actually just attached a rubber band to it here to try to keep it on and help keep the plankton going into the jar as we try to capture them in our fine mesh. So plankton are out here all the time in our local ocean and bay. We have phytoplankton and zooplankton, and of course, the red tide species, um, Linglodinium, is out here too. And that was the species that's been bioluminescing for the past few weeks in our ocean. So we're gonna drag the plankton net through the water. Of course, Linglodinium, the phytoplankton, are plant-like. So they're gonna be, during the day, needing that bright sunlight to photosynthesize and produce food, just like any plant. So because their concentration has gone down, we're going to need to drag this net through the water quite a few times to see what we can get. 